how do we export from GarageBand iOS as an MP3? We can't actually do it, but we can convert it quite easily using a voice recorder app. Yeah, you heard me. It's actually really simple to do. So here I've got my, my new reggae tune here about gain staging. It's very cool. We're going to uh, export this first of all as a WAV file. So that's our first step. We're going to uh, tap out here. And here it is. It's called My Song. We'll give it a name. We'll call it Reggae Gain because that's what we're talking about. So reggae gain, it's going to be the big hit you're going to hear in all the clubs this summer. So we firstly need to export this. So we're going to tap and hold and we're going to hit the share button. Yeah. So we're sharing this. We're sharing it as a song. Here's the problem though. We've only got WAVE, AIF or M4A, Apple's compression format. Sometimes, you know, you're entering a competition or you're sending it to a radio station. And they might say we must have MP3. In 2021, there is no reason why they should only be able to support MP3, but they have their reasons. So how do we do this? Well, we first of all do it as a WAV. So there you go. We've uh, exported that as a WAV file. What I recommend doing here is actually saving it first. So to do this, we go to open in, weirdly enough. So we go open in. It's going to export our song. And then we can actually decide where we're going to open it into. And this is where I'm going to tell you about an app called Voice Record 7. So you can download it. Uh, I'll link it in the description here. It's called Voice Record 7 Pro, I believe. And you might be thinking, a voice recorder app, Pete, why would I use that? Well, it's actually got a really good audio conversion engine in there. So we're going to show you how to do this now. So I've got it set up here already because I've used it a bunch of times. If you don't have it there... Once you've installed it, you hit the more button here, and here are all the apps I can use for audio. I've got it set to my favorites here, but if we edit here and we get rid of it, say I didn't, I'll remove it from there. What you would do the first time you're using this is that you'll come in here, it won't be there in your favorites, and you come right over to the right here, you hit more, and then you scroll on down until you find voice record seven, which is there. We tap it. And look at this, it opens it up in here. Now, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm gonna to have to calibrate the voice engine. The audio engine is gonna do the calibration for us here. This is 100% free, it is ad supported. You'll see some ads down the bottom here, but uh, apart from that, 100% free. So there you go, it's been imported. My, my file reggae gain has been imported into the library. So now if we find reggae gain, which is this one here, you can see it's, it's separated into date order, we're the 18th of May here, reggae gain here. We can actually tap on this one. And you've got a whole bunch of options here. So you can play it, you can send it by our email, you can create videos using this of your audio. There's a bunch of cool stuff that we can do. But what we want to actually do is do our conversion. Now you can come here and just do convert to MP3. That'll do it instantly for you. But I'm going to point you to this one, Advanced Converter, because this will let you set all of the specifications of your files. So we'll tap Advanced Converter. And here you've got Convert to MP4 is the preset. We don't want that. We want to use the Convert to MP3. Or in fact, I've created a high quality MP3 already. Ready, but you won't have that so convert to mp3 so we've got mp3 here the settings so we can either match the source or we can do manual so i tend to do manual just so that i can make sure everything's working here so my sample rate here 44.1 kilohertz that is what GarageBand uses that's what you want to leave it at bit rate here so the higher the bit rate the better quality there's a lot of other things that go into bitrate, but just trust me that you probably don't want it at 128 or lower. You want this at least at 192. I recommend 320 because you're going to get the best balance of quality, but also file size in there. Stereo, you can have stereo there. Um, MP3 is only stereo, so you can't change that there. And your encode quality, you want that to be high. It will there, therefore tell you how much disk it's going to use, 2.4 megabytes, and what its estimated file size would be. All we need to do now is hit convert. It's going to go away and convert that WAV file and create an MP3. There it is. There's our MP3 file. If we want to play it, we just hit play. When you got to set your input game. Can stop that. And then we can do a bunch of things here. So if you then want to do something with this, well, we come down here to activities and airdrop. So we wanted to save this over to our files so we can use it to upload to Google Drive, to email, to send to someone, whatever we want to do. Activities and airdrop. And we go audio. It's going to bring up our very familiar share sheet. So now we can send it over to LumaFusion. We can chuck it into iMovie if we're creating a video of our song, or we can save it to files for posterity. So we've got reggae gain here. I'll just throw it here in my studio live today folder, hit save, and there you go. It's there. And if we want to come and find it, we can just go over here to files, iCloud drive. We can go to my studio live today folder, which is there. And 
the, 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 where is it? <laughs> there it is, reggae gain. So there's the file. We can actually use this from within our, within our files out. We can zip it up, we can share it, we can do what we want. And of course, we can play it to learn about gain staging. When you got to set your input gain, you don't want it to hide. <laughs> that is going to be in your head all day. You're welcome.